10 Most Dangerous Weight Cuts in MMA History Weight cutting is an extremely dangerous reality of MMA, and these are the 10 most scariest and most dangerous weight cuts in MMA history. Stories of fighters trying to make weight in time for a match. MMA is one of the greatest sports on the planet. Despite this, it still has the dark side of weight cutting attached to it. Despite some athletic commission's attempts to help solve the weight cutting crisis, it still remains. It's worth noting that the UFC has done nothing at all to curb weight cutting, as fighters will miss multiple times and still be allowed to attempt to dehydrate themselves down and nearly kill themselves again. As a result, most fighters dehydrate themselves down to unhealthy weights in order to make certain weight classes, and it has resulted in some absolutely terrifying stories. Conor McGregor, UFC 194 weigh-in. Conor McGregor was always a big featherweight, but as time went on, it felt like it looked worse on the scale than his fights. With that in mind, it's no surprise that McGregor's final featherweight fight against Jose Aldo was his last. McGregor made championship weight, but looked legitimately like a skeleton. The sport's biggest star made weight for his fight against Aldo at UFC 194, but looked nearly dead in doing so. One fight in particular that his weight cutting was definitely noticeable was UFC Fight Night 59, where he faced Dennis Seaver. So in an interview on Fox Sports with Ariel Helwani done right afterwards. When the interview was uploaded to YouTube, tons of comments were bringing up McGregor's visible weight cut. Jessica I, UFC Vegas 2. Heading into UFC Vegas 2, Jessica I was coming off a fight in which she missed weight by 6 pounds. However, the more concerning weight miss was her one against Cynthia Calvillo the following fight. I only missed weight by 0.25 pounds, however her demeanor was much more worse on the scale. I was visibly shaking on the scale and declined to attempt to cut the final quarter pound due to the fact that she was in so much pain and felt she couldn't stand much longer. Oh! That's guy, she's getting after it. All three judges for this contest. Daniel Cormier, UFC 214. Daniel Cormier notably had issues making the light heavyweight division on multiple occasions, as the former heavyweight champion had a bit of a stocky frame to put it lightly. However, there was none more concerning than Cormier's UFC 214 weight cut. Cormier was coming off a controversial UFC 210 weight cut where he grabbed a towel to allegedly trick the scale and make weight. At 214, where that wasn't an option, Cormier made weight, but it wasn't easy as he looked in. Chris Weidman, UFC on Fox 2. When Chris Weidman got the call on 10 days' notice to fight Damian Maia, he originally asked if the bout could be a catchweight bout. Weidman was told no, but accepted the fight anyways, despite being 32 pounds over the middleweight limit at the time. Weidman years later still doesn't remember much of the weight cut, as he passed out multiple times while making the weight. Weidman somehow did come in on weight after cutting all the 32 pounds in 10 days, and went on to beat Maia the following day. A lot of hype building around you. Like, did you expect this soon to be fighting Debbie and Maya for a chance to be like at the top of the division? I think it was an I mean, impossible thing. I know a couple of websites like uh, Ariel Hawani said that the uh, fight would be Debbie and Maya. But, you know, I, was, I guess the UFC was going to try to build it. So, uh, Johnny Hendricks, UFC 192. Johnny Hendricks was always a big welterweight, to put it mildly, and it was on full display at UFC 192. Hendricks was set for a title eliminator bout against Tyron Woodley at the event. However, in the end, Hendricks couldn't see fight day. Actually, in fact, Hendricks didn't even see the scale. During his weight cut, Hendricks was forced to pull out of the event due to him being hospitalized for issues related to the weight cut, or he ended up having intestinal issues as a result. Following the 192 miss, Hendricks went on to miss weight in three more bouts. Okay, I'm just, you know... More than anything, uh, uh, <laughs> so whatever it is, I don't care. I just pray for a, a healthy baby and a, and a healthy pregnancy. All you wrestlers, though, end up with the girls. Why do you think that is? I think it's just because we work out so hard. Okay. You know, science or whatever proves that, you know, the hotter your body is, certain things happen. And, you I man, I wouldn't trade my three in for anything in the world. And now that, it, you know, I'm on the fourth one is finally Mark, you know. Yeah. So, so now I'm super... Man, I, I'm just so excited. Yeah. Aspen Ladd, UFC Vegas 39. Aspen Ladd has notably had some issues cutting weight in the past, in large part due to the amount of weight she cuts. However, there was no more concerning moment than Ladd's attempt to make 135 for a bout against Macy Chison at UFC Vegas 39. Ladd originally weighed in at 141 with her clothes on after undressing. Ladd still missed weight at 137 pounds. However, it took Ladd minutes to officially weigh in, as it took commissioners minutes to officially register her weight on the scale due to her uncontrollably shaking on the scale. 
A bout was officially canceled hours later due to Ladd's weight miss. Down three to zero. You got to pick it up. That doesn't mean be careless, but lead from the backside and to try to wear her down. But if you don't pick up the pace, she's going to continue to stay on the outside and try to pick you apart with us. No more. You have to compress with those double jabs. All right. Don't follow and freeze every time. You've got to pick it up. You got to win. You, you yeah. have to finish her. Kevin Lee, UFC 216. Kevin Lee's weight issues are very well documented, having missed weight a couple of different times at lightweight. However, his most concerning moment was actually a fight in which he actually made the weight limit. Kevin Lee's title fight weigh-in against Tony Ferguson was scary, to put it lightly. Lee originally weighed in over the limit for the championship bout. However, he was given clearance to keep cutting weight despite the clear invisible staph infection and Lee's insane heart rate that was taken by doctors prior to making the decision. In the end, Lee made the weight for the bout, and he would say years later that it almost killed him after cutting 20 pounds and 24 hours. Henan Burrell, UFC 177. Henan Burrell had many weight issues during his time at 135 pounds in the UFC, but not many were as bad as his attempt to make the weight for his rematch against TJ Dillashaw at UFC 177. On weigh-in day, the bout was actually canceled due to Burrell being hospitalized. Burrell passed out while cutting weight. He fell back and hit his head on a bathtub, concussing him and sending him to the hospital. Burrell was then pulled from the fight and replaced by UFC newcomer Joe Soto. Anthony Rumble Johnson's welterweight attempts. Anthony Johnson made his name fighting at 205 pounds, knocking opponents into the heavens and earning multiple title shots. It took him being released from the UFC to figure out light heavyweight was his home. Johnson from 2006 to 2011 fought at welterweight, or at least attempted to. Johnson looked like he was moments away from death each time he stood on the scale due to the enormous amount of weight he was cutting. Johnson missed weight three times during that stretch as well, notably attempting to fight at middleweight against Vitor Belfort and missing weight by 12 pounds. In the MMA world, however, weight cutting is a normal practice. On average, a UFC fighter will lose anywhere between 10 to 15 pounds during fight week alone. This is relatively safe, provided they approach cautiously with the right medical team at hand. Some fighters, though, have become known for cutting extreme amounts of weight in a dangerously short time frame. Let's have a look at the five biggest weight cuts in recent UFC history. The most highly anticipated featherweight fight of all time. We lose, and Aldo looks like he's feeling the pressure of this hall. The notorious Conor McGregor. Black trunks for the champion. Oh! He oh! slipped him! Conor the new Unbelievable! And that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more info. And as soon as you get that done for me, I'll take care of your knowledge and learning experience so we both win.